Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, anybody that was drawn to this message. I'm so happy to see you guys. Been a minute since we've done a Libra. Um, there is going to be an extended for this. The link for that is in the box below over to Vimeo, or you can join us for the live full version of this on extended members. The link for that is in the box below as well. So without further ado, what do we have coming in for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers? Bravery and the Dark Lady. So you have a watcher, which I always get that, except your watcher is Romeo. It could be a water sign or it could be someone who kind of doesn't make a whole lot of moves. They sit very, very, very still until it's time to make a move. These, This is the Brian Frouds Fairies Oracle, if you're curious about the deck. Um, but this particular character, if you remember Mana, she was around in the before 2020, okay? She used to call this Romeo because he's the poet, all right? Um, but he has a, a real soft spot for you, like a real, real soft spot. This person could have really, really long fingers. They could have like beefy thighs. This one here doesn't forget leg day, okay? <laughs> they could have an actual six pack of abs, anywhere from one to 12 abs <laughs> could be showing in this one. But they're a sweetheart that is in, in, in the bigger scheme of things, your, your Romeo poet character is a sweetheart. And you have a feminine here who is raw. The dark lady comes out. I always see this as Maleficent after she's mad. Okay, not soft, sweet Disney Maleficent, but the actual Maleficent. And she is trying to get through some kind of really hard time. And she might be being Maleficent about it. I mean, she's not... The dark lady will fucking scratch your eyes out like do not cross this one look at her face does that look like somebody that you want to get up and cross she's already been crossed this one is she's mad or hurt or on fire in some way she is not having a very good time and she's dealing with it like a dark lady meaning maybe cynical or just you know how maleficent is like hmm no oh, you're gonna be awful to me <laughs> i bet you are right she's done lost her marbles at this point she's been hurt so many times that she's now the dark lady and there's something about an interaction between this romeo character and this dark lady to where she lets her guards down they might say something to you or do something sweet to where they come in as the healer. If it's almost like if you like an SPCA dog, right, that's been abused, <laughs> and they're in the corner, and anybody gets near them, they bite and growl and shit because they think that if people get near them, they're going to get hurt. But there's something about this particular Romeo character who's noticing that, and they're able to somehow inch towards this person and and the vibe that I'm getting is this dark lady being like the look on her face doesn't necessarily look mad it's like I can't handle anymore or I don't want to handle anymore or the 29th could be relevant There's something that happens to where there's healing. It feels like a healing aura or a healing bubble. This somehow they, I don't know how they're able to do it. They come in and they get this one to, it takes the edge off. Wheel of Fortune. There's your nine of wands. This person could have on a button down shirt. This masculine. Six of cups, of course. So this is a soulmate of yours and they watch you, but they don't make a lot of moves. 
and they are somehow or other noticing that you are in a place of, it's almost like they watch you and they see that you're, they see a change. <laughs> now watch a change in you. It's like you never had wings, right? Fucking Deftones. And so they, it, they notice. That's how it happens. They notice. This person is close enough to you to where they pay attention to your demeanor. And they notice that something is wrong. Strength, the healer. So they come in and they put on all this armor. Like they are fully expecting for you to bite their head off when you get near them. It's like the SPCA people who put on the padding before they go in there. Because when they get bit, they don't want to get hurt, but they probably figure that they're going to get bit. So it's like they walk into battle... And they bring nine of cups and temperance and strength and the higher font. That's this person's job. This is your healer. What do they say when they enter? Because it's page of swords. They're uncertain about how it's going to go. Death. Lots and lots and lots of emotions here, which makes perfect sense because that's what this Romeo character does is they are emotional. They do all of the feelings, but they're uncertain about whether or not you're going to fuck with them at all. They don't know where you stand. They don't know where they stand. The answer is no. Thunderstorm. This man. There's like this, um, what if we relax? What if we go somewhere and relax? You want to relax with me? Well, what's the response to that? <clears throat> it feels like maybe you don't answer them or something. And it's like they do a bunch of drive-bys. This is a king of cups. They could have long hair. They could have Leo in their chart. The devil. they can't believe that you're so mad they're like did that really turn you into the dark lady maybe they did something stupid it feels like they're confused like are you really that mad queen of pentacles four of cups Because you, because they do, they do stupid shit. Like they give to more than one person. And I just feel like you're just not having it. And what I'm saying is uh, it feels like it comes from this Romeo person that they do juggling and they juggle you and you know it. 
and you're maleficent about it. Like, I will fucking kill you. Like, do not come anywhere near me. I'm not interested in your whatever. And they somehow are able to get near you and disarm you. The world. Two of swords, two of cups. And they're like, let me take you to this place. It feels like they want to take you to a place where you can relax. And that's why I was saying, you want to relax with me? And it, it could be like I was talking about the SPCA and dogs and stuff. Like it's like you want to go out and run. You want to go on a nice little run. Justice, strength, page of cups, the fool, ace of wands, and the chariot. And that's when you're like, because they say shit that you want to do. It feels like they come at you and offer to do something that you want to do. Who is it that has made her so upset? Or it could be a number of people. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. The Empress, and you're like, uh, it feels like you block it off. It feels like a moment of they are attempting to heal you by offering to go and do something that you want to do. And it's almost like, well... Pleasing me on a on a Sunday doesn't necessarily excuse everything that is. It's almost like they want to just move on. They want to pretend like whatever happened didn't happen. And they're going to do something sweet for you so that you will forgive them. And it looks like you come up with seven of swords. So that doesn't answer this question because at some point during this time frame, this uh, empress or dark lady puts her wings down like puts the guards down but I don't necessarily know that it's this past person because you're like not really willing to deal with it because they are trying to come in and cover something that they had done and it maybe that's the healing part is that you close the door on them you're like no I'm not we did that whole talk on the moons on the Virgo moons about Uriel and the reason that people are able to treat you like shit is because you allow them in your space. And so she's like, um, no. And it's a huge, like, slamming door. And then you have this whole healing phase that happens after that. So it's it really is once you close the door that they turn around and they take off their... Uh, I was going to say narcissist suit, but not everybody who is an asshole is a narcissist and not everybody who breaks up with you broke up with you because they're a narcissist. This person is just a dick. All right. And they do things that are not nice and you block that somehow and it brings you healing and then something else happens that is, I feel like, much, much better. So let's go to the extent and see where we go with this because the first step in this time frame to, in order to get to the healing is that you don't allow this person at all to get near you because they cause you to turn into the dark lady that we are not dark ladies we work in light all right Maleficent is not an asshole she was hurt she's actually a very very good fairy right so let's go to the extent and see what happens after this the link for that is in the box below to Vimeo or you can join us for the live uh, full version on extended members we'd love to have you there's other readings over there on that side you to see check it all out links for everything is in the box below and until next time i'll catch you later libras